I've literally done this intro about a hundred times now, so I'm just going to dive straight into it. This is a trick on how to make unlimited money and unlimited crafting experience in Cyberpunk. And we're going to get straight into it. The things you're going to need for this trick are, is, are, one or the other, um, is a lot of junk food. Specifically the $10 junk food which you can disassemble. Now, I've got a pile of it here myself, and the best place to get, get these items is from vending machines. Now, vendors do sell them. Um, but vending machines have an abundance and they're very easy to get, very quick to get. Vendors don't have much stock, um, it does make it a bit more annoying. Um, but anything $10 that you can get from a vending machine is how you get this trick going. So we're going to buy a pile of $10 stuff in here to get sold out. Sold out relatively quick. Um, and in the apartment zone here where I am, there are a lot of these machines just lying around. Um, there's more over here. Some people are using them. That's fine. You want to avoid the $5 ones because I'll just show you. Here. Move. Wow. Got it. Okay. You want to avoid the $5 ones for obvious reasons because you cannot... Uh, where is it? You cannot... See on the bottom right down there, you can't disassemble this. So you can't get parts for it. You can't get components. But for the other items, for the $10 ones, for some reason, you can. And you can see on the top left there, I've got 6 plus uh, regular components and 3 plus uncommon components. I think that's what they're called. Um, and normally you would get, I believe it's 5 and 2, but I have the perk which allows you to get more uh, crafting. Where is it? There it is. More components when crafting, but it's not essential. You make so much money, you don't, this just basically speeds up the process. So these do help. There are some other, other things. Grants a 20% chance to craft an item for free. That also helps because we're gonna be crafting a lot of items. If you can get one for free, then you've just made free money. Really, really easy. Um, but again, as many of these $10 items as you possibly can, you can, focus on this from from the get-go and start gathering these up and um, running between machines running between machines they respawn they do respawn if you fast travel out and sometimes even if you run for, far enough away they do restock as well so really really easy trick to keep going as well so that person just that was me never mind um so we're going to grab a load of these again and just be mindful you can spam spam the button to make them as you can see here it's it's empty it's sold out and I can keep spamming the button, nothing's coming out. Just be mindful of that as well, because that can cause problems. But once it stops spitting it out, then you can assume that the machine is, is, is automatically sold out. Um, but it will still eat your money, which is a problem. So what we're gonna need to do now is we're gonna go into our inventory screen. Wrong one. Um, inventory screen, backpack. And I've got 42 of these, so 42 times six. I don't know what the maths are, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down, let's say 10 of these. Um, they cost us $10. Um, hundred dollars total we're going to break down 10 of these and get 30 uncommon 60 normal right so we're going to do that now disassemble 10 of these so we got 60 uncommon i think without the perk you get 50 um and the uncommons you get two instead of three so we got 30 and 60 for a hundred dollars we go into the crafting menu here now and we're going to find uncommon items the best one for this is the sniper. I don't know if you start with it, I can't remember, but there, it's very easy to get the blue for, blueprint for the sniper. And let's go here and we can see what the value of the sniper is. It is level dependent, so the higher level you are, you get more money, um, but you can do this from, from basically the lowest level. Um, so one of these costs 20, 24 uncommon components, and because my skill's higher, there's a discount, and 28 of these normal common components to make $427. Now do the mathematics, whatever, it was 30 for $100, or 60 or 50 for $100, um, and we've made four times the profit. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna go back to my inventory, and we're gonna break down all of my junk. So I've got 42 here. Disassemble that. Disassemble that. Sometimes you have to do it manually. Disassemble that. There we go. And now we've got a ton of parts, right? And that cost us, in, in the region, of just under a thousand a thousand dollars we'll say and we're gonna go down here making three of these will make my money back and then some and also the crafting experience that comes along with it so we're gonna go boom 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 and I can just keep making these because I've got so many myself already and you simply go over to the shop you saw the crafting experience go, go over to the shop Sell all those snipers. And we've made profit. Just pure profit. Happy really, really easy. 
I suggest that you do invest some points into the crafting table um, because there are some perks that do help with this. Obviously the one I have here, the mechanic, is uh, it's not essential like I said, but it does make the process so much easier. The This one, Ex Nilo, um, grants you 20% chance to craft an item for free. So one in five items is going to be free, which means free money for you every time. Um, I think that's, there are a few others. Disassembling items. Reduces the components of upgrading, I guess that, that doesn't help. Uh, let's see. Component cost, there we go. This is another cost of op cost optimization. And just to be mindful, there is an item you can get that refunds all your perk points back. Um, it does cost $100,000, um, which is far more than what I have here, and it probably would take a long time to, to, to do it. But if you want to go way beyond that, I suggest putting all your points into this kind of stuff. Um, upgrade item for free, not that. So basically just the, the cost optimization, the mechanic, and the, where is it? The ex nilo. So those three perks are the ones that you want to use for this. Um, but once you get the 100,000, maybe you buy one of those uh, resets and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, because I don't think these skills are actually useful unless you're doing this trick, really, to be honest. Um, so I wouldn't suggest having the perk, having the perks invested in unless you're going to do a trick like this, because while I do disassemble a lot of items, I disassemble so many items that having an extra one or two um, when I'm disassembling guns doesn't really matter. But when I'm getting them en masse and I'm buying, you know, 100 cans of whatever, um, more here, if I'm buying 100 of these, then it, it, it's going to be nice to have an extra uncommon and common uh, component for each one that I, that I open. But like I said, the best place to do this is the apartment. Um, very good place to, uh, to get these machines. And like I said, move far, far away, I believe, works most of the time. Um, but if you fast travel away and fast travel back, or if you know a better spot even, um, you can get this, this trick going really, really easy. And obviously your crafting skill is going to go through the roof. Um, I haven't gone through it myself because I wanted to keep my level lower doing this video. Um, because obviously I wanted to show the experience actually coming through. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. A really, really easy trick. You might have noticed I do sound a bit different in this video. It's because I've got a new mic. Fuck you have. Um, it's a good mic. I hope the video comes out really, really good at the end of this. Um, fingers crossed. Um, but just go quickly through that again. Um, I know you've already seen it. You can rewind the video or whatever. We'll grab the $10 item from these machines. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. So it's empty, so I stop. Otherwise, you start losing money. Um, and we're going to go to our backpack. We've got the 25 cans here. So that's 10, 60, 120. 180 I believe oh I'm gonna kick myself I'm not gonna guess but it's a hundred something crafting parts for $250 we're gonna disassemble all of this $250 for all these point all these parts oh there we go brought me up to that much so we gained quite a few go down here and we just craft more snipers get more XP more money and you can just keep doing this over and over and over it is monotonous um, but in a game like this where money is sort of almost essential to get most of the things that you want, most of the, the shiny new gear, or new cars, um, it is almost a must have. And for those of you that don't want to focus in on this, you can still find these machines as you're walking down doing your missions, doing your quests. Um, you can run down and, and, and see these $10 machines, grab all the items, empty them and move on to your mission. Really, really easy. Um, so again, we're going to sell all these items. And as you can see, my money is just multiplying each time. Um, Obviously, his money's gonna run out, but there are more shopkeepers to be had. Fast traveling away, you know, sleeping, waiting, waiting time off will make their money come back. And uh, easy stuff. So, you know, if you have any questions on this, I don't think you will. Um, I'm, I'm one of the few people that still has Cyberpunk, I think, in the world. I do love this game. I'm playing on PS5, obviously. Um, as you can see from the graphics, not being <laughs> completely terrible. Um, I do enjoy it. I do recommend it if you can get it, get your hands on this for PS5. I don't know what it's like on PS4, but it can't be that bad. It can't be bad as Fallout 76. It can't be, right? That game was a mess on release. Um, but I would recommend it. Um, and obviously, leave a like and subscribe as always. There'll be plenty more of these videos. Um, I'm getting back into video making. I took a break for a while. Um, I just, yeah, I needed some time off because I was getting burned out. I was playing games that I didn't enjoy, just making videos for the sake of it. Um, but I'm back to my always, hopefully. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, like I said. Leave a like if you did. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.